Uh, let's talk a little bit about what the acoustic guitar is doing. How do you approach playing? Um, uh, what are you doing on this song? S something simple, I know. Well, the, the intro, Tom and, and I on electric guitar, uh, Tom over there, we're doing that same intro together, pretty much. And when it comes to the verse, I'm just doing just uh, diamonds. I come before you today. Mm -hmm. There's just one I thing that say. I want to say. Mm -hmm. And then um, it's diamonds as well on the pre chorus. With a grateful heart, song of praise. Mm -hmm. and then I'll just go to a simple up and down strum on the, on the chorus. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord. That's pretty yeah. much it. It's simple. Yeah. Uh, when you're uh, talking about acoustic guitar, do you, you lead worship at your church or, do, a yes. lot. Do you lead with electric or acoustic? or how do you... um, I used to lead with, le with acoustic a lot, but uh, since our electric players, we, some, of them, some of them transitioned, so I had to um, go to switch to electric. But I see a, one downfall I see in a lot of acoustic players and, and uh, worship leaders in churches. They always play the acoustic guitar really hard. Yeah. You hear them talk, oh, I'm breaking strings every service. You know, if you're breaking strings <laughs> on an acoustic guitar, chances are you're playing really too hard because an acoustic instrument has a threshold. And when you exceed that threshold, even in drums, you and I have talked about this, Tim, all the tonality goes away from the instrument and it starts actually distorting. So if you want a great tone and a great sound, lighten up your touch. Maybe use a, a smaller, a thinner pick. You're, uh, you got your capo on the third fret the third as well. Fret. Why do you have that? Well, because we're in the key, we're of, the key F, of F. So. And if you want that open sound, have open strings, then you go to the five, but when you go to the, to the four, you're having to do a bar chord. It just seems okay. kind of, it can sound kind of choked off. Yeah. And if you put it on the third fret, you've got a little bit different voicing, and all the chords are open. Oh, I just want to thank all, you. Yeah, okay. It's got a different uh, timber to it, I yeah. guess you'd say. How, how is it? Because you lead worship with uh, Lenny leads worship with the piano as well. Mm -hmm. So, um, how is it uh, as a worship leader? Is it easier to lead from a piano or easier to lead with an acoustic guitar? I think it's easier to lead the band from piano because the, the piano is such a dominating instrument. Yeah. But it's actually a little bit easier to, um, to lead, for me, with a guitar as far as um, we're interacting with the congregation. Okay. It's kind of a guitar you can take, you know, take that right hand off or whatever. And, yeah. You know, acoustic guitar is not like the dominant instrument right. where piano yeah. sometimes it can be, you know. Yeah. So, uh, again, it's just uh, you know, what I hear Lenny saying here is uh, simplicity. He's playing uh, just just what needs to be playing, nothing more, um, and it it makes for the whole uh, band to work together. Um, it's not about one individual; it's about playing with with your entire team, and that includes the vocals as well. It's not about one alto or one soprano or one tenor or, or a bass or a drummer. You'll hear all these guys say the same thing. It's about playing as a team.